and welcome to PowerPoint Module 4. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about some other more advanced topics when it comes to PowerPoint. We're going to talk about background formatting, which is an extension of themes. We're going to talk about the slide master, and we're going to hit on a couple of smaller topics like templates. In fact, that's exactly where I want to start. So, in addition to saving a slideshow presentation, you can also save something as a template. And the way we do this is very much the same way that we save anything. So we go to the backstage view, click Save As, click Browse. And we want to find a place to put this. Let's go here, and we want to uh, call this whatever we want. So I'm just going to leave it as zero.pptx. And we want to look for template. So main one you would use is the potx format for a basic PowerPoint template. Um, so you click that, click save, and you're good to go. I'm just going to click cancel because I only wanted to show you where that is in case it shows up on your project. Next thing we want to look at, I want to make a couple of extra slides. Uh, and that one here. And now we want to go into our slide sorter view. If you recall back to um, module three, we used this. Uh, in addition to sorting your slides, moving them however you want more easily in the slide sorter view, we also have the option of hiding our slides. So let's select one. We'll just select this one here. And we want to remember where it is. Is it right click? Again, this is all very new to me, just like it is to, I imagine most of you. Here it is, hide slide. Right click. And if this had any text in it, you would notice that it uh, dims. It goes gray. And that lets you know that that slide is hidden. So let's unhide. And we want to go back to our normal print view. All right. Um, next thing I want to touch on, and this is the bulk of this week's lecture, and that is the slide master. So the way we view this is we click on view and we just look for the button that says Slide Master. And that is this here. Click it, and it opens up another set of slides, as well as these options here. You see the Slide Master tab appears at the far left. And there's a lot of familiar options here. Um, it looks like a kind of condensed version of a lot of what we've seen in the last three modules. So our slide master is, simply put, how each of our slides are going to look by default. Uh, this is how you format your different types of slide. So while we're here, we want to go to the where is it? Oh, man, what draw? Uh, I apologies. I could have sworn the uh, layout tab was also here. Oh, well. We'll focus for now on the options we have here. So, you can insert your slide master, and as it says here, add a new slide master to the presentation. Uh, you can insert layout, add a custom layout to the master slide set. Uh, you can also rename each of your types of slide right here. So we have, here's our title and content. Let's click on rename if I can keep track of where my mouse is, that would be great. Uh, 
and we have this uh, rename dialog box here. We call it whatever we want. Uh, let's just call it title and content custom. So with your slide selected, you can insert a placeholder. There's a bunch of these that you can choose from. If you have space for a placeholder in your slide, this will be available. Otherwise, it will not. So you can do text. You could do a picture. We're going to focus on that one in just a moment. Do chart, table, smart art, media, and then online image. So we're not going to do a picture placeholder to this one, but we will to another one. Um, you can change your theme here. So let's just say we want to change to this one. And of course, that's going to change all of them. So let's go back and select our title and content again. Um, now let's select this one here. So we have our, our two. OK, so uh, going more off of our background, we can set our colors, we can set our fonts, we can set our effects, all things we've done before. Um, background styles, we have these here. Let's go for a slightly darker one. And then of course we have slide size, which is not something that we cover in this lecture. So when we're done with the slide master, all we wanna do, close it. It'll get rid of that tab. And now you can see we have applied to an individual slide here on top of having changed our theme for this presentation. So outside of that, how do we apply to a single uh, a single slide? So you think back to the first module, we had these simple themes, we had their variants, we can do more. So if we click format background here, You see, we have a bunch of options. And this is what I want to look at as far as pictures go. So you can apply a picture as the background to your slideshow using format background. And we have a bunch of different options here. You could set its transparency. Here's where you grab the file. Um, you could set your offsets, how far it is from top left, bottom right, uh, and so on and so forth. You could also do a solid fill, which is just a flat color, or a gradient fill. And boy, does that look bad. <laughs> we can change the colors of each of these parts. Just click these sliders and set their color here. So let's just do, let's do something less harsh on the eyes. Let's do a simple white to black. So we want to remove these because we want it to be just a single gradient. Uh, the way you do that, just click them and press delete. Let's click this one here. And I don't want to quite do dark, dark, dark. I just want it to be gray. And you can see down in the bottom, of the slide. It's a little bit of a darkish gray. And so you have other options for this. You have a pattern fill, you have a solid fill, and then you can just hide background graphics. Um, all of the options for these are down here, and they should all be pretty self-explanatory. So once you're done formatting your background, we just want to right. We just want to click the X and get out of it. Now, what happens if we right click on one of these themes slash variants? We could choose to apply it to all slides or just the selected slide. And that's how we get different themes per um, per slide.
So say we just want a basic look on this one, on our title slide. So we just right click, selected slide, and we have that, and we have that. And this is just another way that you can add more uh, style to your presentation. Because nobody wants to look at a plain white background, black text, paragraphs of writing kind of slideshow. If you're going to do a slideshow, you've got to make it at least look somewhat interesting without being distracting. Um, so that is actually going to cover most of what we're talking about here today. Um, let me consult the lecture notes and we'll see if there's anything else that needs to be covered. Otherwise, this is a very short lecture. Ah, yes, I forgot to mention inserting placeholders. So, we want to go back to our slide master. Click view, slide master, and we've got all this here. Scroll up, and I want a blank slide. This is blank as we're going to get it. So, now we want to come to insert placeholder. Let's insert a picture placeholder and your cursor will turn it to this plus. You just click and drag somewhere and you'll place your placeholder. So let's do a giant picture uh, placeholder. Click, drag. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, there. And now we have this big picture placeholder. Click in, oh, that's weird. I'm still new to uh, doing placeholders. So what we've actually just done is inserted a text uh, placeholder with picture in it. But that doesn't mean we can't insert a picture into this. So insert picture. Let's do another, let's just do clouds again. And there you go. Absolutely massive, but it is in place. Let's see if we can fix placement of it. It's not sticking to the slide, which is a tad frustrating, but oh well. That's how you insert a placeholder. All right, I'll check the slide notes and see if there's anything else missing. All right, we got a few little things. Let's first delete this picture. Now, say you want to delete a placeholder. Can we do that? Of course. We select by clicking the edge of the box for the placeholder, and we just press delete. And there goes our placeholder. So let's get out of Slide Master view. And we want to go into the Backstage view, open up Info, and when you think you're done with your presentation, you have the option of inspecting your slideshow, and that is done by clicking Check for Issues. You can do Inspect Document. You can check Accessibility, check Compatibility. And it all just depends on what your needs are, and it's going to give you information on how to fix any problems it runs into. And if we come back up to home, I can try to remember how to set it as final. Okay, so here on the info tab, uh, if you want to mark your presentation as final, the first thing I want to do is protect presentation. And let's just call it this one here. It's at the bottom of this menu and that lets readers know the presentation is final. This is the finished version of it. And it will yell at you saying this presentation will be marked as final and then saved. When you click OK, it will carry out that operation. We're just going to click cancel. 
All right. So the last thing we're going to talk about, and that'll be the end of PowerPoint, is we're going to talk about uh, slide timings. So let's come over to our transition tab. And we're not going to set any of these transitions. What we're just going to do is we're going to come here to the far right. So we have advanced slide. By default, it's on mouse click, but we want to change it to after. And we're going to set it to five seconds. And you can always skip ahead, but you can also disable this if you so choose. And last thing, we apply to all. And when you run your slideshow, which we do by pressing F5, if you wait five seconds, you see it advances on its own. My hands are off the keyboard and mouse. And so it's going to finish out. And there we go. So that's going to do it for PowerPoint Module 4. And that's going to do it for PowerPoint as a whole, unless we add more modules. So if you have any questions on your assignments, let me know. Otherwise, best of luck to all of you.